Oh, hey guys. So today I'm going to play some poker. Another one. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a... So it's been a while since I've had a poker session, so I figured I was due. And also I wanted to make a video to help a potential first time Vegas poker player spread some knowledge because I've had like 20 or 30 sessions by now and there's a lot of things to know about how it works and I just don't want you guys to lose all your money right away. I want you to have a good session. So I'm gonna head down to either Aria or the Bellagio. Those are my two favorite poker rooms in Vegas to play. And I'm going with a friend of mine, my friend Lorenzo, who has never played poker in Vegas. So it's gonna be perfect. I'm gonna be teaching and telling him what I know and trying to help him. And I'll help you guys along the ride. The way it works is when you go to the poker room, you go to this front desk and that's where you check in. Now, there are different types of poker games. The one I like to play the most and the most popular I think is Texas Hold'em, but there's different kinds of games and there's varying amounts of limits. So for example, the lowest table limits, the lowest, the cheapest tables are usually called the 1-2 or the 1-3. Three. The 1-3 one, three just means the small and big blinds. One dollar small blind, two or three dollar big blind. Most of the rooms have one three in my experience and that's what I play. And the cool thing about that is it, there's still no limit to your betting. So you could still bet all your chips if you want. Usually you have to wait before you can get on a table. It's better to call in earlier. You call the poker room and you say, hey, I wanna play the one, two table, put my name down, Chris P, whatever. And they'll say, okay, it's about an hour wait or whatever. And when you go there, there's TV screens that show you the order in which the wait list is. So usually you have to wait at least around a half an hour, but there are times where the poker rooms aren't super busy where you can just walk walk in and play right away. Otherwise, you have to wait, unfortunately. You have to wait till players leave because you can actually play as long as you want. If you lose, you can either leave. Like, if you lose all your chips, you can either leave or you can actually just put more money down and get more chips and keep playing. One more thing. <laughs> you can actually skip hands. So, for example, if you have to go to the bathroom, you can get up, go to the bathroom, miss that hand, and come right back, and you're good. So, it's actually pretty chill. Another thing that's really interesting is that you actually can use your phone while you play. I've seen people watch movies, you could be texting friends. As long as you're paying attention to the game and, and you know, betting when you, it's your turn to bet or whatever, it's overall pretty chill. Pretty chill. Also, you can get drinks. There's uh, waitresses that come around and ask for drinks. As long as you tip them a buck, they'll give you whatever you want. You ready to play some poker, bro? <laughs> Let's get it. I got 40 on black. You're nervous? <laughs> yep, first time playing poker at the casino. Hands are a little sweaty, but I'm here for it. <laughs> Alright, let's go. You got this. Let's get it. Alright, so I gave Lorenzo, this is Lorenzo by the way. How's it going everybody? I gave him the rundown. I think it's fair to say he's, he's a novice poker player. I told him the main things that I've noticed, which number one is I would say nine times out of ten, when someone bets big, they are not bluffing. It's Bluffing is rare in my experience in Vegas at the poker rooms. When you play with your friends, you bluff every other hand, but here, not the case. <laughs> so that's the first thing I told you. And the second thing I told him was just to play really slow and very conservatively at first to try to understand the players at the table. That's like a huge thing, because sometimes you just need to know the players. You'll see if, you'll, you'll feel after like a half hour, like if people are like amazing or just bluffing the whole time or just drunk and being really stupid like yeah. so those are like the two two big tips i could tell you guys starting to sweat a little second <laughs> good thing for lorenzo or anyone that wants to play right now is you have to wear a mask in the casinos so this will help hide your face so that might be helpful thanks bro So in my experience, I think starting with $200 is the best. It's not a crazy amount of money, but it's it's enough to give you some games because a lot of times what happened to me was I bought in at 100 and if you don't get a good hands in the first like half hour, 40 minutes, you won't have enough money to really 
make anything happen. So with two hundred dollars, you have more of a more of a cushion, basically. So we have two hundred each. We're getting ready. We're waiting. We're waiting in line still. So. This is Vlad. He was the first person to ever super chat me. It was What's the up, best, best investment ever. I mean, it's, it's <laughs> amazing to see this guy grow, making a lot of people happy, creating quality content. And I think that it's hopefully not longer than 18 months to the 1 million dude. subscribers. So no pressure. I don't know. I feel like it's going to take a little longer, but we'll see. Dude, thank you so much, bro. <laughs> nice to meet you. And, uh, nice to meet you too, man. Stuff, man. Thank you, man. <laughs> All right, session over. I think we played about four or five hours. It was a long session. My session was up and down. I ended up down 30 bucks overall. We both started with 200. Lorenzo left with over 400. I'm very proud of this young man. Good job. Well, no, like, did you, yeah, no, was it was more fun. fun than you thought? No, it, I mean, I think it was fun. Like, at first, I was getting kind of frustrated because, like, I was just, like, I just kept having to fold. Like, was I it didn't boring? Get a, yeah. yeah, I didn't get a face card for, like, my first 15, 20 turns. But after that, honestly, like, that first win is really what kind of, like, ignited me. And after that, I, like, I just had the confidence. So, okay, I'm going to take this guy out. The guy next to me was freaking <laughs> singing the whole time. And, like, it was just... <laughs> Yeah, it was good though. We had a good sesh, honestly. Yeah, and we we got to play on the same table too. So, like, if you want to play with a friend, you can play on the same table. But most of the time, you'll have to start on different tables and wait till a seat opens up at you know either your table or the other person's table. And that's what happened with us. So it was cool. We got to play on the same table, and it was fun. <laughs> 